Hey everyone! Welcome back to my Heartland Reactions. This is the Season 9 premiere, Brave New World. Amy and Georgie must rescue an injured horse while avoiding a dangerous bear looking nearby. Peter and Lou hire lawyers in their custody dispute. <sighs> so Peter and Lou are going to be stupid and go through this divorce. I think they're being stupid, and I've said this in numerous videos before. You know, they're, I don't think that they are working hard enough. I mean, Lou even asked Peter if she thought that they were calling it quits too easily, and he agreed, but yet he still wanted to go through it. And since he wanted to go through it, that tells me that he was not into trying. Lou wanted to try. He didn't. He was like, yeah, we gave up too easily, but I'm done. Which I think is shitty, personally. I think that they were stupid in letting that go. As I said, no one has even mentioned the words marriage counseling. Maybe it wouldn't do any good, but I think that they should have at least talked about doing that. Because maybe marriage counseling would help put them on a different path. A path where they'd be together. Maybe not. You know, some people might think I'm wrong. That's fine, you know. We're all entitled to our opinions. But, yeah, I just think that they are being ridiculous. So, I think they're going to be stupid in this with hiring lawyers. Because it's also kind of like, what's going to happen with custody? I mean, generally with custody, as we know, it goes to the woman. Unless she's proved unfit. So, if she's proved unfit, then, yeah, then, like, Peter would get her. But if he's, if she's not, Peter doesn't have much of a chance. They might get joint, but that would mean every other weekend. But then, he spends most of his time in Vancouver anyway, so. And again, I think that they could have tried to make that work. The whole thing with Vancouver. Since, obviously, he wasn't budging on giving up his job, and Lou wasn't budging on moving from Heartland. And I do like how, when she had talked about making a decision without him, he kind of pointed out that she had made some decisions without him, you know? And she didn't like that, but I'm thinking, it's a fair point. You did go ahead and make some decisions without consulting him, like when she was gonna buy uh, the old Hanley farm before it burned, you know? She went and made that. Lou's a bit arrogant, you know? Um, she went ahead and made that decision pretty much without talking with Peter about it. And I know sometimes you have to jump on it, but <clears throat> big decisions like that, you have to discuss with your spouse. You can't just go making a decision. That's what causes these rifts. So, personally, I thought Peter was justified in kind of throwing that back in her face about big decisions. You know, making big decisions without consulting the other. I thought that was fair. Because that's what she's done. If she hadn't done that, and he would have, like, tried to throw something in her face, that would be unfair. But she has a habit of doing that. You know, but also, of course, I think part of it is Peter's insecurity as well. So, anyways, let's start the season nine premiere. We get to see Alice. Ain't she a beauty? Uh, we'll start the season nine premiere. I'm happy to continue. I took a couple of weeks off because of Halloween and everything. So I'm happy to get going, starting on this show. As I say in every episode, I love this show, and I'm so glad I decided to do it. Let's get started. Hey, I love how this is rated TV 14 for smoking and substances. I don't think I've ever seen smoking on this show. If I have, it's been like in the background and I haven't paid any attention to it, but 
Yeah, they still take you 14 for that. Go, Georgie! Trick riding! Glad to see she's still trick riding. Uh oh. And she falls. Off. <laughs> True. Did they ever say where they went on the highway? Oh, yeah, Lisa. They went to France. Lisa gave them her house in France. That's it. You can do it, Georgie. Yeah, Amy's room is already ready, and I put fresh towels on the bed. Wait, who would have guessed? She's obsessed. Georgie, just stick to stay calm, it's okay. Yeah, the horses are freaking out, of course, because it's a bear. I didn't think they had bears there. Okay, the bear turned around and left. So, bear was protecting its young. Just seemed yes. like a, wasn't that Amber a Marshall? Bear. A bear? Yeah, he was huge and he came right at us. It was so awesome. No, no, that is not awesome. He <laughs> have been... Well, the horse, he was like bleeding like a lot. Yeah, I think the bear attacked him. Oh. And he's still up there, so we have to go find him. No, no, you're not going anywhere near right, that bear is. or the woods. Amber Marshall. I mean it. But he's going to bleed to death. We yeah. To. Jordy, I'm not telling you again. <sighs> Dad, you'll go with us, right? It's not happening. Georgie. It's not happening. What's going on? Why are you so mad? I'm going to call Fish on the Mouth. Like, fuck you, Lou. I'm going after the horse. Why don't you take a gun? Hey, Jack. Yeah, he must have been at Lisa's since he's alone. <laughs> Jack in for comedy, I swear. Jack! Jack has branched out a little more. He went to France, he's gone to Arizona. What's happening with that barn up there? And here we go. I see a bunch of plastic flapping in the wind and nothing much else. What happened under control? Jack. Hey, Jack. It's almost the same as it was when I left. You haven't even done anything. Oh, Jack, come on, you're staring at all the wiring here. Did it last week better than all day. The order on the plate is plumbing. Finish the supply and the drainage to the toilet and the tub. I, okay, I've been doing work on the drains and the supplies. <laughs> okay, partner. Is that for the, that's the supply for the toilet? <laughs> that's the soil stack? Yeah. Okay, now, anybody that's done any plumbing knows that that supply and that soil stack can be much closer together, but it's okay because I can make a quick adjustment. I'll get my tools. <laughs> Jack, we got this. <laughs> that means. Sure. Yeah, because I think Lou was planning maybe over the summer to try to get the two of them back together. And now, of course, Peter's putting a wrench in that plant. You could be more handsome on me while I was away. Yes, I think you did. Good. <laughs> just saying hello. He missed you. <laughs> he did. And don't tell me that's trouble. He I'm good though. Yeah. Sounds like you and me, we got some catching up to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. And she's gonna see that horse again. And the horse is coming around for a reason. because he wants you to help. Good boy, Phoenix. The bear's around. Georgie, what are you doing? 
are you doing out here? <coughs> well, what are you doing out here? I saw that trouble wasn't in a stall, and trouble. I had a pretty good idea where you two went. You shouldn't be out here on your own. Well, neither should you. <laughs> Look, if Lou finds out, she won't. Georgie, let's go. Now, okay? Get Georgie, the other horse. He came back. He's up here somewhere. Yeah, you get the other horse. There he is. All I have to do okay. is grab a gun and first shoot it in the air to see if that scares the bear off. I hate to say to shoot the bear, because bears just need nature, but at least try to scare him off. But at least they got him. They can always, like I said, they could have taken Jack's rifle to try to scare the bear off if they would see. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. You, we don't know. But it doesn't hurt to try it. You know, at least then they'd have the rifle, so if the bear did advance, I hate to say it, but they could shoot the bear. I myself do not like bears. <laughs> I would be okay if that was a creature that went extinct. But I also do respect and appreciate that that is nature, that is their territory, and they are just doing what they can to survive. And obviously they saw that bear because that bear was protecting its den. And protecting its cubs. So... And, he, and the bear didn't advance, so the bear obviously wasn't hungry or anything. But unfortunately, it did attack that horse. My guess is that the horse got a little too close, but uh, the horse got away, and now they have him, which is good. And like I said, the fact that the horse kept reappearing, it knew that there were people around. Horses are smart. And the horse knew people were around, and so... It went where it knew it could get help. And now, of course, they have... And you notice, you know, he didn't, like, spook or try to run away when Georgie approached him. So he was wanting her to get him. So, yeah, now they'll be able, of course, to help that horse and heal him. I'm kind of surprised that Georgie tacked up trouble... And I was even more surprised that Amy tacked up Phoenix. You would think when Amy was coming out to get her, since she saw her leave, that she would have tacked up Spartan. It's funny in this, because, you know, they are gaining more horses, and it's like, maybe they should have them to the barn. I think they talked to Jack about it, and of course, because Jack is Jack, he was like, no. And I was like, you know, but you might want to add on to the barn and get some more horses. Because a lot of those horses aren't going anywhere. You know, Spartan is hers. Supposedly they're still Harley, even though we haven't seen Harley. Supposedly Harley is still there. What about Copper? We haven't seen Copper. So, You know, I assume that the horses are still there. I assume Copper is there, even though we haven't heard. I don't think they've mentioned... If they have mentioned Copper, I forgot about it. So if they did mention Copper, please let me know down in the comments what happened to him. Um, maybe they did some. I don't know. But if they didn't, if nothing was said about Copper, then I'm assuming Copper's still there and probably missing the fuck out of Mallory since she's no longer around. Anyways, let's keep going. Why didn't you tell me that Jim was dropping the ball on that project? I can't keep track of what Dad is doing or not doing. There we go. So look, I don't have a million other things to keep my eye on. You should have called me or sent me a picture of what's been going on there. I lit a fire under his room. It doesn't mean anything, Grandpa. It should. You two are okay, then? We're doing great. Yeah, you are. I should probably put an ad up in there. Like I said, why doesn't Lou just suggest... Now, maybe he likes the idea of it being just him and the girls. But I'm also thinking, why doesn't Lou suggest going with to Vancouver for the summer? 
and they could work something out, you know, like she could stay in a guest room, kind of like what Peter's doing now, or a separate place. And then she and the girls can do stuff while he is at work. And he said he is going to take a couple weeks off. And so during the weeks that he has off, Lou could then, like, fly back and give him daddy-daughter time, you know. And then she could fly back home to Heartland, take care of stuff, and then go back when he has to go back and then be with them. And then, you know, they could still kind of, like, have a few dinners together, maybe spend some time together, spend some time apart. They're not thinking through rationally. And that's Lou, you know. She, I've always, I've always said this, Lou is high maintenance, she's egotistical, she's arrogant, you know. And it's like, I get this. And I think part of the reason is that she was kind of hoping that Peter wouldn't want to take the girls away then maybe you know because she'd said it's easier for him to to come there and i think her plan was maybe if they have the summer they'll spend the time together and they'll reconcile i think that was part of her plan because she feels like they can't reconcile obviously if they are apart and I know sometimes couples separate and they get back together, you know? And these guys are being stupid right now. So, I, yeah, I think that's Lou's plan and so I can understand her being upset about it. But at the same time, it's also like, if they aren't going to get back together, then she has to go ahead and accept that things are going to kind of be that way. Where there's going to be times when Peter has the kids and she doesn't or she has Georgie he has Katie vice versa so she needs to just kind of figure things out and you know she doesn't want really to talk she just she wants to kind of bully Peter into doing it her way Lou is a bit of a bully um, she wants to bully Peter into doing things her way And when she doesn't get her way, she kind of throws a bit of a tantrum, which is kind of what's going on. So that's, of course, why they're going to have to, unfortunately, hire lawyers is my guess. But if she would just explain to him, you know, I wanted you to be here because I was hoping there would be a chance for us to reconcile. It's like we're separated, but that doesn't mean that we can't try to get back together, at least, if nothing else, for the kids' sake. Stupid. <sighs> stupid, stupid, stupid. That's all I have to say about Lou and Peter. Stupid. And the thing with Georgie is, obviously, because she has stuff going on it's weighing on her and so she isn't able to fully concentrate and as Amy has said the horses pick up on that you know they know so she'll have to get better but I like how she was saying you know like I don't want to go I have trick riding you know we have shows every weekend and I mean, yeah, she could take a couple of weeks off. Especially if they plan it out enough in advance. But... I mean, Peter was right when he says you're okay with join as long as it's on your terms. Which is correct, because, you know, she's like, they go to school here, they have all their activities here. And it's like, yeah, but when people separate, especially if they live in different areas, they make it work, you know? Like, Peter, obviously, yes, he wants to spend time with them. They're his daughters. <coughs> and he has that right. 
personally, I, I don't know why he can't just talk to his boss about working remotely and just staying there. But I think he said something about that. Like, he feels like stuff goes on when he's not there. And it's like, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Ow. Let's hit my scratch. Um... You know, like for me, I've worked remotely, and I'm sure stuff goes be on behind the scenes, but I don't care. Like, as long as there's work to be done, I'm going to get it done. I don't care what the, what the hell else happens. So Peter needs to let some of that stuff go. She's going to let the horse go free. He's not completely healed. He is going to start crazy. What are you doing? He wanted out, so I'm going to follow him. Yeah, he's saying, follow me. No. They brought the girlfriend back. So obviously, Bear and and either horse belong on that farm. Because so I was kind of looking around that farm and I saw there was a truck there. Now, of course, it could have been an, ab an abandoned farm and I hope it's not. Uh, but it, it's like, well, Bear has a, has a lady. And so, obviously that's why he was so stir crazy because he was missing her. And it's nice, I think it's nice, he wanted Georgie and Amy to see, like, hey, this is my girl, you know? And he was probably telling the girl, these people, they, they patched me up. See this scratch? They patched me up. They're good people. So, as I said, horses are smart. They know. We should give them more credit. Buddy? I'll be okay. Buddy, I like that. Fair and buddy. Fair and buddy. I did it. That's great. Um... <laughs> Severe case of rain rot. Oh no. Oh. You make sure you think you know. No, Georgie. Bad. Oh, poor guys. Alright, maybe not girlfriend, maybe buddy's a boyfriend. talking about rain rot, which I don't know what that is, but it looks like Buddy might have been outside because if it's rain rot, it sounds like maybe he was outside in the rain and so something happened, which maybe those horses are abandoned, but, you know, they're reunited, which is good, and even though they're away from each other, they can also still communicate. Buddy and Bear can. Hopefully they will be okay. And I said it, that they had to quarantine him from the other horses. And I think one of the reasons why Tim wanted to help with turning the upstairs of the barn into their house, I think he wanted to help because it was going to make him feel important. Yes, he wanted to do it for his daughter, but he wanted to do it also to feel important. 
So thank you for joining me for the season nine premiere of Heartland. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this episode and uh, also let me know, like I said earlier, if they did explain what happened to Copper, because I don't recall anything about Copper, but I could have just missed it. I mean, there's so much of Heartland that it's possible that something could have gotten missed. So let me know down in the comments what you liked about the episode or what happened to Copper uh, or anything else you might want to discuss up to this point. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LazyCatReactions if you can. And check out some of my other videos. I am happy that you are here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.